Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler over here on the south side of Jeanette's Pier on Tuesday, January the 24th. I'm looking out over a gorgeous Atlantic Ocean. We have a single surfer enjoying the one to two foot waves. Maybe a little bit taller here, maybe, I don't know, some of these swells look a little bigger than one to two, but we'll just say one to two, maybe one to three foot waves off Jeanette's Pier. Uh, full suit in um, evidence here, booties, hood, and gloves. Looks like a mid-length surfboard, possibly a hybrid. Um, I don't know, I'll get a better view of it when we see this surfer pop up. Also worth noting, we've got a bit of a jelly here on the shore. I guess I'll take a look at this jelly here for you guys before the surfer gets a wave. Boy, that's a big one. <laughs> oh, big old Outer Banks jellyfish. Yep. <laughs> yeah, don't want to get stung by that one. <laughs> but yeah, um, not like your stinging nettles. Uh, big, very, very large jellyfish here. Washed up on the shore. Hopefully not a lot of these bad boys out there. But some, ooh, here we go, a little, oh, late takeoff. Not quite making it. And we're gonna back up here so we don't get our feet wet as the jelly gets washed around in the surf. <laughs> and rather shallow sandbar here. We're at low tide on the south side of Jeanette's Pier. Does look like a mid-length surfboard, possibly a fun board. As the surfer paddles out for another wave, it is cool and brisk. Winds coming out. You can actually tell the direction of the winds by the uh, wind turbine mounts here on Jeanette's Pier. Winds coming out of the southwest. They have shifted around. Temperature is about 54 degrees, so the winds don't feel warm at this point, but temperatures tomorrow are supposed to warm up ahead of a front and some stormy weather expected tomorrow with gale watch it watches up along the coast right now and likely severe weather tomorrow afternoon and here we go nice little leisurely drop in here with our surfer over at Jeanette's Pier it is a gorgeous day but uh, you definitely want to have your warm weather gear or well gear to keep you warm <laughs> both in the water and out i'm wearing a jacket a sweater uh, jeans and we've got a damp cool breeze coming out of the southwest here hopefully we'll warm up a bit by tomorrow so we can enjoy some warmer conditions ocean water temperatures out here around 49 degrees very cold <laughs> You do not want to be in the Atlantic Ocean right now at 49 degree temperatures without a wetsuit for sure. And you do not want to be duck diving through a wave <laughs> without a hoodie to keep you from getting those gnarly ice cream headaches. Oh, but definitely a very beautiful day here on the Outer Banks once again as the seagulls congregate in the surf, possibly anticipating the storm is expected to come through tomorrow. And various beachgoers enjoy a nice walk on the beach in the low tide, as the beach is much larger, much more available beach for a walk here, a nice walk in the afternoon and evening hours. We do have the grackles flying overhead, voicing their greetings to the evening sky as we enjoy a little time here with the waves with a surfer who is trying to paddle into the sweet spot. Looks like he's got it. Little left hand, little, I'm sorry, little right hand turn, little backside there. And a little a quick little ride. 
Still quite wet, rideable out here at Jeanette's Pier, but uh, nothing too amazing. Some wonderful waves yesterday. Got some great video of some waves yesterday. And uh, some interesting video of a riptide down at the Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge near the boiler of the old Oriental shipwreck. Riptides here in the Outer Banks, very prevalent feature of the coastline. Dangerous to surf uh, swimmers and waders. Uh, surfers are crazy. Sometimes we use these things as highways to get out past the break. And a uh, front side left hand turn. Another short wave. Catches some short fun rides here on the Outer Banks on Tuesday, January the 24th. Getting close to February. Looking forward to February. February actually starts to warm up a little bit here in the Outer Banks. Get that trend into March. And um, apparently February is a more attractive time for visitors as more visitors come to the Outer Banks as well. Although not a major warm up. Um, I hear from the locals that April is when summer starts. So March is uh, definitely quite a bit warmer and February, I was looking at some of the climate trends, uh, local climatology. And it looks like mid to late February, we get a warm up. So I'm looking forward to that just a few weeks away. We are right here in the depths of the cold though. And not really too cold. Uh, air temperatures right now in the mid fifties. Although we might get another cold snap or two before the winter is out. We'll see. We'll definitely get some storms. So typically storms bring in the cold air behind them. All right. Well, the surfer is waiting, hunting for yet another wave as we enjoy our time together here on the beautiful beach as the white waves, the white headed waves roll in, casting foam across the sandbar and onto the shore. God, it's just so beautiful. Very large seagull shooting out there over the waves. Another one following it. It'll be interesting to see how the waves change tomorrow ahead of the gale. We'll get out here for another observation for you guys. We did have a nice little summary of climate science chat over at the uh, video blog earlier today. And I think I'll make that a weekly feature of the wave report. It's just nice to keep in touch with what the climate scientists are saying, particularly for those of us who live on the coast. Um, I don't know about you guys, but growing up, I really loved the Weather Channel. And I find that listening to the climate scientists is almost like a Weather Channel level up. So you can level up your weather and climate experience by paying attention to the climate scientists. as we sit out here waiting for another wave <laughs> with a surfer and we can talk weather and climate, waves, weather and climate together. That's, uh, that's my beach lifestyle. What, what's yours? Uh, just such a beautiful evening as we hone in on the, oh, here we go, a little drop in, a little street ride leisurely straight line ride at the nine minute mark. This will be a leisurely surf session at Jeanette's Pier on Tuesday, January the 24th. Thank you for joining me for this special edition, the special beach edition of the OBX Wave Report. We're about to get wet with the OBX Wave Report. We're, I'd say, two to four weeks away from getting in the surf and doing some wave reports from the surf. We're getting all the things together for that. So um, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about it. But in the meantime, as we always ask you, please do everything you can to help accelerate the clean energy transition and thereby protect our coastlines 
from the impacts of human-caused climate change. Don't get distracted by all the nonsense. Clean energy is the center of gravity right now for sustainability. We need to adopt it as rapidly as we can. So thank you for joining me, and I will be back with you shortly.